Stormwater management has become an important part of urban watershed management. Urbanization has cleared forests and other ecosystems to make way for massive developments and transportation corridors. This has fundamentally altered the hydrological cycle in these systems. Roofs, roads and sidewalks are all impervious surfaces. They do not allow water to infiltrate them. Any rain that falls on these surfaces becomes runoff. Out of necessity, we have had to manage this form of water flow rarely seen in nature. As you can see in this figure, the amount of surface runoff in red increases dramatically when you convert from a forest on the far left to urban environments such as multifamily or commercial on the right. Traditionally, stormwater management focuses on blue water. Blue water is the water that we can see at the surface and convey away from buildings to a river, lake, or the ocean. Stormwater runoff is directed from gutters and drains to underground pipes. This in turn leads to a body of water. Let's see how this affects the stream flow of receiving waters. This is a typical hydrograph for a stream in a forested watershed. There are three main ways urbanization affects stream flow. One, it shortens the time to peak flow. Water is rapidly conveyed to the stream after a rain event. Two, it heightens peak flow. Less water infiltrates and is stored in the soil, causing more runoff from the surface. This high energy flow can erode and damage stream banks. Three, it lowers base flow. Impervious surfaces prevent subsurface and groundwater stores from being recharged by rainfall. Groundwater provides a continuous base flow to streams and is an important source of flow in the dry season. Stormwater runoff also picks up contaminants, such as oil and grease, from roads and parking lots. These untreated contaminants end up in water bodies. This can have an adverse effect on fish and other organisms. Impervious surfaces are a good indicator of stream health, where an area beyond 15% imperviousness results in a reduction in aquatic health and biodiversity. Stormwater management designs remained unchanged for most of the 20th century. Conveying stormwater alone has been proven ineffective in terms of water quality. Increasing climatic variability has led to stronger storm events. This has caused flooding from high energy runoff to be conveyed through inadequate stormwater systems. This, coupled with high density in urban areas, has intensified erosion and poor water quality. The philosophy of stormwater management has shifted its focus to green water, or the water that is taken up and moved through soil and plants. Innovative stormwater designs mimic Mother Nature, promoting retention, infiltration, and slow release of water. This reduces the energy of water, as well as urban non-point sources of contamination by absorption, precipitation, and plant uptake. Watershed processes differ from the headwaters to the mouth of a catchment, and from activities at the property, neighborhood, and watershed scales. This video series showcases innovative designs in urban stormwater management on three scales. One, the property scale. This video shows innovative approaches that individual home and business owners can take to reduce the risk of flooding and water contamination. Two, the neighborhood scale. This video shows designs that municipal jurisdictions can apply to reduce the impact of roads, parking lots, and commercial infrastructure. Three, the watershed scale. This video shows innovations that can protect rivers and other water bodies. It will also look at broader land use planning.